What's up, Sage here, and welcome to the Living Failures Tactics video. First of all, the boss fight starts directly when you open the door, so you don't even have to walk into the boss area. So keep that in mind before opening the door if you want to do something before the boss fight. If you're struggling with the Living Failures, the biggest challenge is to keep your opponent's numbers in check, because the Living Failures are a multiple spawn boss, so many bosses who share the same health bar will appear, so you'll have to take them out one by one, and just keep the numbers in check. Fortunately, now that we have to face multiple bosses, the living failures are pretty predictable enemies, and they get a limited range of attacks. Up close to living failures we use slow, easy to dodge, although pretty powerful attacks, either flaming their arms or headbutting the ground. Although with long range they're slightly more dangerous, and they use magic attacks, they toss arcane fireballs at you, or they will unleash a slowly cast spell that forms a small cosmical portal over their heads. Once the portal is open, a series of pretty powerful homing shards will launch toward you. The easiest way to dodge those is to dodge sideways to the right. The easiest way to win the battle is to focus on one creature at a time and pick them off as soon as possible in order to keep their numbers down. Whenever you see a creature begin to cast a spell, be ready to dodge the safety or just hide behind the large sunflower column in the middle of the boss area. Every time you hit a living failure, the health bar will go down since they all share the health bar. Once they get down to about 50% of their health, the living failures will add another move. From that point, the living failures will sometimes reach their hands towards the sky, causing Cosmic Starfield to cover this boss arena. Seconds after that, a deadly shower of meteors will pour from the sky, and if you're hit, you're gonna have a really bad time. Although the meteors will always come from the same direction, they ring down from the opposite side of the door where you entered. The easiest way to dodge him is just press yourself against the flower column in the middle of the boss area and keep it between you and the incoming projectiles and wait till the attack is over to continue the fight. And that's it. There's not much more to be said about the living failures, but just take them one by one, control the numbers, use the flower column in the middle of the boss area, and just take it easy and you'll be fine. I hope this video helped you if you were struggling with the living failures. Good luck with the rest of the expansion. Guys, my name is Sage. Thanks for watching.